Hello there everybody and welcome back to another pregnancy video. Today I'm hoping I can get through all of this quickly and efficiently. My kids, like usual, are taking their nap right now but it's not the right time and they've been kind of fussy so we'll see how it goes but it is 16 weeks and I am exhausted and my house is a train wreck as you can see. Um, our dishwasher broke for the fifth time so I've now invested well this was like the cheapest model that we could get whenever we we rebought all of the appliances when we moved into this house all brand new um and so we just went with the cheap dishwasher which is now uh, coming back at us for buying the cheap model so we bought we've invested in our own um a 700 dollar Bosch model that has really good reviews so anyway I'm currently working 80 hours a week with two kids while pregnant, while coaching a color guard team, which we are now entering competitions, which means I'm not at home on the weekends, I'm away on the weekends. And now to make things worse, we don't have a working dishwasher and we have two kids and two adults who are eating and making a mess. So as if I already didn't have time to clean my house, now I've got to clean my house and do all the dishes in the sink. Yay. So today I am 16 weeks pregnant. My scoliosis is really showing with this shirt. One of my shoulders is higher than the other from the scoliosis and it makes all my shirts look like this. <laughs> so I have to fix them. Anyway, 16 weeks pregnant. According to the Bump app, you are 16 weeks pregnant. Things are getting pretty exciting. You may have another prenatal visit this week and you may get to hear the baby's heartbeat again. Even more thrilling, the baby could be kicking and you could start feeling the kick. So pay attention to those subtle little feelings in your 16 weeks pregnant belly. Another cool fact, baby is starting to hear your voice and he or she will recognize it at birth. So feel free to chat up at any chance you get. Baby this week is the size of an avocado measuring about 4.6 inches long and weighing about 3.5 ounces. The bump app says that when you're 16 weeks pregnant, you are three months and three weeks pregnant. For your body at 16 weeks, back aches, bigger boobs, constipation, forgetfulness, dry, itchy, sensitive eyes, and glowing skin. It also is really cool. It shows a picture of what the baby will look like right now so it looks like a baby <laughs> so to go through all of the different symptoms according to the bump app with the back aches I have been having a lot of back aches and neck pain but I think a lot of that is because I'm now already sitting at a desk for you know a long time a day doing all of my work and now I've added an additional eight hours a day of working in a physical classroom at an elementary school. Um, I also always started getting back aches. We have a memory foam mattress, which I really like, but with the pregnancy, I feel like my back really starts to hurt after a while. And I think my pillow is getting a little flat. So my neck has really been hurting, but I do have back problems with the scoliosis and I see a chiropractor and my appointment is coming up soon. So it's possible I've just messed something up. I don't know, but my back does hurt. Bigger boobs, I haven't gone up any cup sizes or anything. The bump app does say that you may have gone up a couple of cup sizes or needed to buy new bras. I haven't gone up any sizes, but they do kind of feel more like dense, if that makes sense. Like they feel heavier, but not bigger. Constipation, I haven't been having any of that. Forgetfulness, pregnancy brain is a real thing. I don't know if I'm going through that right now. I feel like a lot of if like I'm forgetful right now is just the fact that I'm working 12 to 16 hours a day. I'm working 80 hours a week with kids while being pregnant and I am just tired. I am physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, every type of exhausted you can possibly feel, I am that. Itchy, dry, sensitive eyes. So this says that the hormones can cause your eyes to be itchy and sensitive and everything like that, which I always have. So I have like a, it's not like dry eye, but like I've got this like chronic condition where my eyes always burn. 
like when you are like super 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 tired and your eyes are on fire i feel that all day every day um, I've gone to all different types of like eye doctors and everything like that to try to figure it out and we still haven't come to a conclusion on what's happening, why it's happening and a good solution for it. I've tried all different kinds of eye drops and everything but nothing seems to work so my eyes burn every single day, all day of my life and that's just how it goes. And the last one is glowing skin. Yeah, freaking right. That's all I have to say about that. Overall week 16 hasn't been horrible. I've just been so, so busy with this 80 hours a week thing that I just don't have time to think about how I'm feeling. I don't have time to think if something is going on or like if I feel like crap or if I'm nauseous or any of that. Like I just have to go, 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 go and there is no time for me to think about anything else really. I have felt the baby kick here and there Baby's doing little things there, especially when I sneeze. Like I don't, I don't think the baby likes that a whole lot, but neither did my other two. And I sneeze a lot. So I think he or she is getting slightly frustrated with my continuous sneezing and my allergies. On the note of allergies, I don't know if you can hear my sinuses. Me trying to breathe through my nose. I've already taken all of the allergy medication that I can take for the day. I also took a shower with really, really hot water. Um, when I got up this morning, I just couldn't really breathe very well. It was just super congested. I deal with this with all of my pregnancies, the entire pregnancy. Um, it's I have really bad allergies normally and I take different type of medications and I have a sinus spray that um, has steroids in it that I can't take right now, which not it's not safe. Um, which seems to help, but even with all of like my allergy medications and everything that I can take, I'm still like this. And it's not, it's not my allergies that are causing this. It's the pregnancy. It causes like my nose and my sinuses to just swell. And it's pretty much as soon as the baby's out, like it goes away. It's really weird, but I basically end up having like cold like symptoms, even like my um, throat is swollen like my tonsils get swollen and um it started around i want to say like 13 14 weeks this started really becoming noticeable but i will have this like a cold like thing until i have the baby one thing that's really good is that my anxiety has gone significantly lower it's not like totally totally gone i still get some anxiety here and there but not like the crippling anxiety that was like causing me to be super sick, like making myself really, really sick and like like debilitating kind of sickness. Not really having that anymore. Every once in a while I still have like a panic attack, but it's not that bad. So thank goodness and I hope it stays away. But things are going to start getting really stressful here as if working 80 hours a week isn't stressful enough. We start our first competition on Saturday and things are going to be insane. So that's going to be really stressful as well. Other than that, I don't really think I have a whole lot to say about week 16. I just am tired, 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 tired. And I don't necessarily know that that's from the pregnancy. I just, I think that's from just working and having kids and all of that. I'm just, Tired, really tired and I have a week and a half left I'm halfway done now with my student teaching um, seminar thing that I had to do so I have a week and a half of that left and I'm it's gonna be sad when I'm done because I really like the kids that I'm working with in the classroom and everything but at the same time I'm just ready to be done so I can go back to my normal life and my normal routine and Get back to my kids and their music class and their gymnastic classes and everything and i'm just ready to get back to like my normal life so anyway that is going to be it for this video i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one now here's my belly shot